Hello, my name is Tom Felton. Uh, I played Draco Malfoy in the Harry Potter films and here I am back at my old stomping ground, here celebrating back to Hogwarts. Um, we're here at the Warner Brothers Studio Tour London and uh, I'm actually training to be a bit of a tour guide. This is my first time, however, so I will ask you to give me some patience. Uh, I will have a right-hand man here to help guide us through this entire wonderful building. Uh, Reese, please come on in. He's a resident expert. Hi, right. Tom. Good to meet you, Reese. How are you going? How can you help us today? What can I'm you... going to help you out a bit, and for everyone just joining at home, Tom is a rookie. Uh, mm. Go easy on him. Okay? It's his first time. Yeah, I'm going to help you out, though. You're going to have these Hogwarts letters that right. I'm going to hand you throughout the tour, so they're going to give you and your group some surprises along the way, and they're also going to help you out by giving you a clue to tell you where to go next. Fantastic. If I make a step wrong, you'll be there to guide us in the right direction. Exactly. We're in good hands, people. We're in good hands. So where does one start such a wizarding journey uh, uh, like today? Where else? This... Where else do you start a Hogwarts journey than in the Great Hall He's itself? He's good. He's good. Shall we? Let's. All right. <laughs> Welcome to the Great Hall. Hello, my name is Tom Felton. I will be your tour guide today. We have Reese at the right hand here to answer any questions that I will blunder. Um, but uh, <laughs> yes, what, start with all your names. So what's, what's all your names? Alex. Oh, nice to meet you, Alex. Nice all right. Matthew. Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hi. I'm Freddie. Nice to meet you, Freddie. Ashley. Sam. Greg. Fantastic. Thomas. DJ. Oh, cat. <laughs> hey, don't be shy here. I'm Dilla. Rachel. Shannon. Will. Marshall. Yula. Fantastic. Now, um, uh, lovely to meet you all. And are there any Slytherins in the house? You're the only ones that will actually be allowed on the tour from <laughs> The rest of you can go home. Thanks very much for coming. Uh, I'm joking. Uh, yes, obviously, you know where you are. You're in the Great Hall, which actually was. One of the first scenes remember, I remember shooting, um, not to bore you, but to give you a little fact, we were all kept behind these doors as kids, very strategically, not to be allowed to see what the Great Hall actually looks like until the cameras were rolling, because naturally we didn't have to act very much when it came to looking, <laughs> seeing this building, looking how amazing it is. Shall we see some more? Yes! yes. All right, lead the way, here we go. <laughs> Reese, please. Give us some wonderful facts yeah, as we I walk mean, on. Um, well, first of all, you made a mistake. You've called yourself a guide. I haven't passed you off on your training this uh, is true. just yet. This is true. Um, so we'll give everyone some facts. I mean, we have our, three, uh, our four houses in different corners of the room. Tom, I think you'll feel a bit more comfortable this way. Absolutely. Isn't that your costume? It is, yes. I recall it, yes. Do you remember what film it's from? Um, Order of the Phoenix. Yes. Did I get it right? Yeah, because of what's that on your chest. Thank you. Uh, you... It's an Inquisitorial Squad badge. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Naturally, naturally, the Slytherins were the um, the worst of the bunch when it came to filming. We um, we were often reprimanded for scratching names <laughs> in the tables, uh, and I've been assured that they're still there. So I shall take their word for it. But yes, as we go down here, head the way. I've noticed they've replaced the. The flame, uh, the flambeaux for um, less. Uh, well, was it less dangerous ones? Was it real fire? It was for, for the I... first three films, I think, and then someone managed to throw their hat into one of them. So that was someone like, meaning you or okay. someone else? Ah, someone else, I'm sure. <laughs> right. Is it your first time being here, guys? Have you have you seen the uh, have you seen the Great Hall before? Yes. 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 <laughs> it's pretty great, though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Did you get teary the first time you came in here? Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I still get the goosebumps as well. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't really leave you, does it? Like, is it still very special to walk back here it's, after all these years? It's undescribable to think that the first time we walked through here that this would still be here and we would be celebrating it to the day. Uh, it's really, uh, actually, it's very special to come back here every time, let alone to be able to share it with um, people that it's meant so much over the years. Which is why I think I'd be a bloody good tour guide. <laughs> I mean, uh, you're doing great, but this isn't, <laughs> okay. this isn't quite a real tour today. It's a TikTok-sized tour. Yes. Normally people take about three and a half hours to do this tour, but we don't have that long. Um, so I think it's time for your first Hogwarts letter. Yes. So, um, Are you guys ready for your first Hogwarts letter? Yes. Yes. Okay. I mean, we waited all our lives for a Hogwarts letter. You're going to get quite a few today. Um, they're going to give you a clue about where to go next and a little challenge to do in here. So Fantastic. Do the honours, Tom. I shall do my best. Thank you, Reese. 
Welcome to Warner Brothers Studio to Orlando. Tom, you're doing a great job at being a guide so far. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Uh, but it's time to get to know your guests better. Right here is where you were sorted as Draco Malfoy into Slytherin. What houses do your guests belong to? Ask them now. I think we can see uh, mm. a lot. Is Should there a way of aligning the groups together, or what do you think? Shall I just go straight to the, uh, the, the two? I think we can split people out a bit. Who's a, okay, let's just go for cheers. Who's a Gryffindor? Woo! Yeah. Woo! Hufflepuffs? Woo! Okay, Ravenclaw? Woo! Slytherin? Woo! All right! Yeah, uh, that sounded like the loudest to me. Yeah. I thought Gryffindors were, but okay. Uh, okay, here's the clue for your next location. You better behave at your next destination, for you will learn how to bottle fame, brew glory, and even stop a death. You guys know where that is? Potions! It is potions. Oh, so you're new. I'll lead the way. I know where potions To the potions! Everyone wants to follow along. You had that on the tip of your tongue, didn't you? I did. I was waiting to say it. So you said brew glory. I could do that entire. Alan Rickman speech. Better than I could, for sure. <laughs> Welcome, guys. Marvel at our wonders. Please, yes, no, keep going. I feel a bit like Willy Wonka at this chocolate cup. <laughs> Potions class waits for no one. Just here, okay, right. I hope remembering this uh, when you have to do this by yourself. <laughs> yes. Round the corner, here to the left. Okay. Round totally. the corner, to the right. To the right, sorry, <laughs> yes. Well said, well said. This is Potion. Potion's classroom. Right? Gather round, students. Welcome to Potion's. Welcome to the Potion's classroom. Where all the magic happens. <laughs> Bit of an obvious pun. Yes. Uh, yeah, obviously I spent many an hour, many an hour here, not usually doing much work, <laughs> but usually making fun of the rest of them, but... Uh, yeah, how long? How long has it actually uh, was used in the uh, in, in the films, Reese? Help it me out. stood since the very first film, but it wasn't potions in the first film. Do you know what it was used for? That's a, that's a question for our. Uh, Does anyone know? Guests. Was this, this was. You can kind of tell by the dome ceiling. Fifty but... points for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Ravenclaw. Stop playing everyone's <laughs> um, It went through quite a makeover to turn it into what it is today. Into what I'm guessing was your favourite. Class, potions class, Draco's at least. It was fun, it was fun. It's definitely one of the ones where I love the studio tour for so many reasons, but to, to the uh, attention to detail that everyone went behind the scenes to do is phenomenal. Even the books, yeah. the jars, everything was written as if there might be a close up on it at any point. Which often it didn't, but um, <laughs> credit to all the people that. But it would that have helped it, you, right? Well, it did, it massively did, yeah. It certainly made you feel like you were somewhere. Uh, Somewhere very different, um, but a credit to all the people that made it look so beautiful. Um, well, not to accelerate off your training really fast, yes. I've already turned you Sorry. in from an actor to a guide. Now I'm going to turn you from a student to a teacher. Okay. This one's your next Hogwarts letter. It's got a bit of a classroom theme okay. for you. So, there we go. All right. How am I doing, by the way, so far? Very good. Very good. Yeah, very good. Did you get that on camera? Yes, <laughs> I'll be the judge. Jolly good. Okay. <laughs> Professor Felton. Ooh. Thank you very much. <laughs> Class is in session, and you are the teacher. Marvellous. Run this Harry Potter pop quiz with your tour group. Mm -hmm. Sort the teams now. Gryffindors and Slytherins on one side. Let's have you over here. It's over here, yeah. I'm a Gryffindor. Gryffindors and Slytherins over here. Right, and where shall I, where shall I post myself? Here. And then we have uh, Ravenclaws and Hufflepuff, uh, Hufflepuffs. There's good. Over there. I'll stand in the middle there. Amazing. I know this is an unusual alliance. I'm going to join I... the Gryffindors. Okay, right, here we go. Um, if you know the answer, raise your hand straight in the air, and I, Professor Felton, <laughs> will be the judge of who gets to answer the question. There are nine questions ready. Will you help me out with who gets to be the judge of the answers? I'll try there? and not be biased to the Gryffindors, but yeah, I'll pick people. So just <laughs> okay. raise your hand. Okay. Question one. Which of the eight films is the longest? Hands up, who knows the answer? That was you. Goblet of Fire. I'm afraid that's incorrect. What happens when it's incorrect? That was you. Chamber of Secrets. Very good. It's the longest. The shortest is actually Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. Right. One to Ravenclaw. 
Wonder Ravenclaw. Uh, question two, how many directors were there on the Harry Potter film series? Four? Yes. Yeah. Correct! Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which oh, actor, uh, question three, sorry, which actor made some of the jewellery for her costume? Oh, it was there again. Bravo! Good lord. Come on, Hans. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Um, question four, it's all to play for. Um, which number is on the back of both Harry Potter and Draco Malfoy's Quidditch kit costumes? Seven. Bravo! Yes, <laughs> points for points for seven. Uh, the fibres, question five, the fibres of which fruit were used to make Aragog's hair? Oh, oh it was there again. <laughs> Good lord, I, I didn't know that at all. Bravo. Uh, question six, are you keeping a tally? I am. Okay. I mean, it's Ravenclaw, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> question six, the Diagon Alley film set was redressed to become which other set? Uh, there. Hogsmeade. Bravo, yes, fantastic, fantastic. Points for Slytherin. Question seven, um, when was the first Harry Potter film released? Bravo, absolutely. Where are we at now? I think that equalised it. Oh, all to play for. Two more questions. <laughs> Question eight. Well, um, what colour has the birthday cake Hagrid, uh, was the birthday cake Hagrid gave to Harry in the first film? Pink. Points for Slytherin or Gryffindor, either one. <laughs> We're playing together today. Okay, uh, question nine. Who composed the famous piece of music called Hedwig's Theme? Freddie. It is. We, yeah. It's a tie. <laughs> what a delightful way to end this. <laughs> I mean, typically Ravenclaw uh, kind of knew everything, but you go, we all held our own. Well done to all of you. Fantastic. Are you ready for, uh, the clue for your next location? Yes. yes. Um, for your next destination, the password is pure blood. Don't forget it. You never know who you might find there. Any ideas? Yeah, come on, Slytherins know. I'm a Gryffindor, but I know where it is, so follow me. I should know, really, shouldn't I, by this point? I guess it's all moved around since you were here. <laughs> There's little you. Yes. <laughs> that costume doesn't fit anymore, unfortunately. It's a few years ago now. Ah. Speaking of old friends, new friends. Luke, my man. How are you, my friends? Very well. Have you, met, have you met Artur? Nice to see you. Hello. This, Hello. this is this is Luke, my son. <laughs> He's currently in the West End at, um, at the Cursed Child. Um, actually, this is the first time that we've met in the Slytherin common room, I think. Yes. Um, How does it feel? Should we sit? It feels comfortable. It feels nice. It's a bit cold. It's a bit cold. Yes. It's definitely my favourite, I think, of all of the locations as far as... Um, it just feels very Slytherin-y. <laughs> I know there's other sets around, but this, this, one really, uh, this one really suits me. How does it feel uh, to, be, to be playing a, uh, well, a Malfoy? Have you been enjoying it? How long have you going I've on? loved it. Um, the play opened in 2016. Right. Um, I've been in the show since 2019. Um, and I play Scorpius Malfoy, Draco's son, and um, I'm a 14-year-old in the story. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, I'm not 14. Well, no. Uh, um, uh, yeah, it's, it's been amazing. We get to do magic on stage. Um, my best friend is also in Slytherin, Albus Potter. Um, so we follow their adventure and yeah, I've had the best time. How is your relationship with Potter? Um, well, we've got a very good relationship, me and Albus. Um, maybe Draco doesn't approve of uh, his son being uh, best friends with uh, <laughs> the son of his arch rival. No, I don't imagine he does. Um, <laughs> but I was, I was going to say, did you have that on uh, when you were filming? The, uh, did you have a rivalry with Dan at all? Or <laughs> were you good <convinced? laughs> Not really. Um, we, were very, we, were, we were very good mates. Um, I think we had rivalry for things like, Daniel's got a fantastic mind where he manages to retain all sorts of useless information. Um, <laughs> Simpsons quotes and um, cricket stats and anything. I think we were quite competitive about that. But otherwise, yeah, I think we got on, we got on rather well. Maybe much like you yeah. and, uh, and his son do, his son do today. Could have okay. all, all gone differently on the Hogwarts Express. Did you grow up with, uh, with the Potter films and books? I did, absolutely. Books? Yeah, so um, I actually, I bought the final book from my brother who worked at a bookshop 
Uh, and I dressed up <laughs> as Harry Potter, and I made my friend dress up as Voldemort. Um, and you went as Potter? I went as, as Harry Potter. Unbelievable. <laughs> um, I'll let you off. I've, I've loved being a fan and then being in the show. I feel like it's given me such a different experience of it than people who come to work on these without yeah. knowing it. I feel like, um, yeah, it just feels a bit like coming home to something. I don't know, were you a fan before you started filming? Quite. Uh, famously not, not at all. No, I did not. I wasn't familiar with the books at all. I wasn't familiar with the world. Um, I stumbled into it. In fact, I lied in my audition about that. I did know what the Potter books were, and I think that's what got me the part of yeah. Malfoy in the first place, yeah. But it is interesting, isn't it, how... Um, you must see it as well uh, at the theatre, how many different countries and nationalities and age groups, and it just it brings... Um, all of us together in this magical, I said it again, uh, <laughs> magical way. It's like, uh, it's, it's staggering now to see that how much positivity kind of flows out of the, uh, out of the wizarding world. And community as well, because yes, I yeah. think that the thing that Draco and Scorpius definitely share mm. is um, quite isolated people. Yeah. And I think they really want community. They do just want friends. Yeah, absolutely. Would you ever revisit that part down the line? I'd lo I would love to. Remind me of the, of the chap who plays Draco on stage with you now. James Howard. James Howard. I, I'd, I'd love to have some, a few words with him and see yeah. uh, <laughs> if I can pick up a few tips. No, it's, it's, I miss it every day. Uh, coming back here, it's, it's a very surreal experience because um, all of these sets I, I, I grew up on, really. Even that costume just over there, that, yeah, I managed to fit into that at one point. Yeah, um, I wanted to ask you as well about, um, <laughs> with these costumes dotted around, lots of them have this uh, platinum blonde wig on. Yes. And I wear a blonde wig in the show. Right, yes. Um, so I was wondering, did you wear a wig for all of all of the movies? Because yeah. it looks incredible. So you get a, you got away with a wig, <laughs> did you? I, I think he should dye his hair blonde for the next. <laughs> it's, it's a group vote, I think. Yeah. Uh, no, it was for um, for one of one of the films. My hair wasn't quite long enough, so I wore it for um, that actual wig. There is for. Uh, stunt doubles, I think. I think David Holmes wore that as my stunt double in the first two films. I wore one for the um, fifth fifth film, I believe it was. Um, how is your wig? I have a very close relationship with my wig. <laughs> how many people that have worn wigs can say, have a sort of conversation? Uh, on this note, Reese, I'm sorry. Sorry, I feel like I hate to break up the mouth. Not at all. And I'm not dressed for the part. The, this is supposed to be green, and you guys obviously got the memo, got the memo. and I yes. didn't. Um, but it's time for Isn't your this next. This wonderful as well. This was un. un... <laughs> Different shades. We, I know we belong together. Uh, I'm not even wearing Gryffindor colours. Yeah, yes. this is your new Hogwarts letter. Okay, are we ready for your next Hogwarts letter? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <sighs> Draco and Scorpius. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to play. Uh, sorry, it's time to play. Most likely two. In the cursed child, Draco has a son, Scorpius, who is very different from the Draco we see in the Harry Potter films. You must play this game thinking about your different characters. Tom and Luke stand side by side. Perfect. Convenient. Uh, now pass this letter to a group member. They will read out a phrase and Tom and Luke must point to the character they think is most appropriate to that phrase. I think Any you need a Slytherin. Slytherin's in the house. The wand was up. There it goes. <laughs> okay. So Draco or Scorpius, is that the, uh, okay. Right, uh, most likely to break a magical law. <laughs> Number two, most likely to apologise for being in the wrong. Mm. Definitely. <laughs> Number three, most likely to dye their hair black. <laughs> Severus Snape fan. <laughs> Number four, most likely to ask for help when he needs it. Aww. <laughs> Uh, number five, most likely to make sure their father hears about this. <laughs> um, thanks for playing Draco and Scorpius. Now please hand it back to Tom. Perfect. Oh, Happy days. Go. Okay, <laughs> yes. Go on, read us out, Luke. My eyes are bad. <laughs> this is the clue. You ready for the next clue? Yeah. It's, it's right. time to move on to your next destination. It's full of magical, mysterious, and dangerous creatures. It's out of bounds to any student unaccompanied by Hogwarts staff. Any guesses? 
Forbidden Forest. To the Forbidden Forest. Forbidden forest. I mean, uh, Draco was scared of it, but everyone be brave. Follow me. <laughs> I'll play some gobstones with Hector. Here you go. <laughs> Please do. Onwards. Reese, are you still at the front there? I'm here. I know All you're right, scared mate. of the forest, but let's go. Are we enjoying our tour so far, guys? Yes. Yeah. Do I have a future in the, in the game, do you think? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. All right, wonderful. <laughs> List, yeah, let's not speak too soon. But yeah. <laughs> right, lead the way, Reese. Where are we headed? To your um, scariest place. Drake ah, it. yes. Um, yeah. I mean, you normally go there for detention, but it's a bit of a treat today. Yes. Yeah. Are you going to be brave? I'm not sure. How brave are our guests? <laughs> Very brave. Okay. Well, we'll hold you to that. That wasn't even a Gryffindor that shouted that out. How's it going? Are you finding your training okay? Yes, yeah, yeah, I've got a good group. Even these Gryffindors seem re relatively pleasant. Yeah. How's your day been? Oh, it's been great, yeah, yeah. Yeah, where have you come from? Uh, Croydon. All oh, right, nice. Not, not too far from that. Have you been surviving the heat? Trying to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> Especially fully robed. I know. So, I had to lose the fire again, though. It's too hot for that. I've got a question, though. What was the um, thinking behind Gryffindor as a choice of house? Yeah, uh, well, I think it should probably be an apple. Oh, it just goes from bad to worse. <laughs> Come on in. Welcome to the Forbidden Forest. I think I see one of your um, old friends. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Looking about. Now, I warn you, not every creature here is friendly. Especially that one. Yeah. <laughs> to you, anyway. <laughs> you mean to you. You get in the middle of the way. Uh, I thought you guys had made up. Introduce, introduce our guest to uh, an old friend of mine. Um, well, how would you introduce yourself? You've learnt your lesson by now. Yes. What are you supposed to do? It's a bloody chicken. <laughs> I was just about to say, as long as you don't call him a bloody chicken, I thought don't you guys... Don't call him a bloody chicken, whatever you do. I thought you were okay by now. This is Buckbeak. We got off to a rough start, but we've made up. <laughs> we've made up since then. I think he's still <laughs> waiting for a bow. Is that, is that what you need? <laughs> That's where I went wrong the first time. I mean, have we there? told you that? However many years ago. <laughs> Here we go. And bow. Oh. It's just no bloody chicken. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> um, right, in case he gets testy again, I think it's time for your next clue. Yes, uh, yes, fantastic. Yes, oh, I'm ready for the next clue. Yes, go. here we go. <sighs> Draco didn't like the Forbidden Forest much. <laughs> uh, he was never one for magical creatures, friendly or fearsome. But let's find out what your tour group thinks. Ask the group what they think is the most terrifying magical creature in the wizarding world. Aragog. Aragog. Do we, is that a firm dance? <laughs> Aragog, okay. I think, uh, is, this, is this where I hint on to the... I mean, uh, yeah. I think everyone's a bit scared, but I think we'd better go uh, Time to move on. deeper into the forest. Best to approach your next destination at a bit of a run, <laughs> if you're nervous. Right, if Lead you're, the way, Reece. I mean, everyone's a bit scared, but yes. we are going to go deeper and darker into the forest. There may be creepy crawlies, aforementioned Aragog. Damn it, it is pretty terrifying, it isn't it? You never made it this far in the forest in the film. No, thank God I didn't, actually. Um, I think... A special guest. <laughs> Stay back, guys. Who's got a better slipper? Not that big. <laughs> <laughs> a few of our friends in the Forbidden Forest. They're very friendly, I promise. Are you actually oh, an arachnophobe? As bad as Rupert Grint? Uh, not as bad as Rupert, but I'm still not that keen on them, to be honest with you. Friendly as it might be. Let's move on, Reese. Let's move Let's. on. I mean, if anyone was truly scared, you can look at the back of some of these trees and uh, realise they're just sets, they're just props. That's a good way to reassure your group yes, in the future, well, Tom. Well said. Okay, yes. Do you have any true Don't be afraid, guys. It's all make believe. <laughs> we make it all look up there. That's, That's a good way to remind everyone actually it's all just movie boring. magic. Yeah. Actually, that, that first, first scene we did with. Uh, um, the mercury, the, the unicorn blood, that was done literally around the corner from where we're standing right now. Uh, and they built an entire forest exactly as you see it here with the, with the back as it is, um, with the fog. It was terrifying. It was, <laughs> Voldemort's not a good person to work with at the best of times, but yeah, it's a, a tribute again to all the people that made, this, uh, made these things happen. 
Again, it must have helped you guys as child actors to be in an actual scare. Oh yeah, I wasn't set. acting scared. No. <laughs> <laughs> it was just terrifying. <laughs> I mean, it is terrifying. Um, I think we better move on. Yes, Do you have I was... a clue where we're supposed oh, yes. to go? Yes, sorry, did I, already, did I already say it? Let's remind, let's remind Maybe. ourselves. Maybe people got a little bit of a hint. Best to approach your next destination at a bit of a run. If you're nervous. What do you normally do to do that? Bit of a run. Where are we going? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Of course, time to run through. The I think we should go for a run. I knew you guys were a good group. Here we go, let's do it. <laughs> through Keep the way, Reese. <laughs> Keep on our heels, guys. <laughs> yes. Keep it moving. Yes, I like it. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to the platform. Welcome to the platform. Here we see uh, Hogwarts Express. Also. Scary. This we one must any... bring back memories. This... It do, yeah, it does. I think the first time I ever actually met Daniel, Rupert and everyone, and everyone on the set was the uh, first getting off the platform at nine and three quarters, um, which wasn't quite as glamorous as it is now being made, but the train is the same, that's for sure. A real train, always worth reminding our fans. Yeah, is it, is, it's a real train. Interesting... It was a real train. Um, and then it was decommissioned and bought and painted. It's typically green, these type of trains. I guess it would have suited a Slytherin, but mm. Scarlet is how we'll it deal with red. Looks. Yeah, it's not too bad. And they say it was the first um, scene that you guys filmed, but it was one of the last you filmed as well, when yes. you came here 19 years later. Yes. And we see you with uh, your son, a different yeah, son who we saw strange, earlier. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, because the very last scene was us being aged up somewhat. Um, <laughs> it's kind of weird meeting your son back in the Slytherin <laughs> common room. Story gets stranger by the day. Another uh, super emotional one, though. Both scenes are really emotional, so it gets. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, lucky enough to see actually Daniel and uh, some of the other gang the other day, and we forget how uh, how young we were. Um, we were, I mean, I was eleven when I first got off the train, and so I'm well in my thirties now. So it's it's amazing to think that it was uh, it was such a monumentous day, and what a great way to end and 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 start the uh, the adventure as really young, poetic because it doesn't normally work like that in filmmaking right like it's, no. you do it completely out of sequence but it just happened that this iconic location was the bookmark yeah and also story. it wasn't really that i mean not to say it wasn't iconic then but that how much it's become um the these trolleys with the uh i mean i can't <laughs> tell you the times that i've actually tried to to, to go Oh, little success. <laughs> did you run like we just did? No, I wasn't wearing the robes. It was, uh... <laughs> it's all part of the training. After today, you'll be fine. But it's really cool to know how much it means to a lot of people. So, yeah. <laughs> right. Amazing. Right. It's time for your next. Yes. Uh, What's what we better? We're going to have another challenge to do, which okay. I think I've given away by what I'm standing. Are we in front ready of? for another challenge? <laughs> yes. All right. Perfect. <clears throat> hmm. Nothing says back to Hogwarts like the Hogwarts Express. Tom, take the Bertie Bot's ever flavoured beans from Reese. There we go. It's a typo. It's a... Every really? flavour beans, you'll know what they now are. Now ask the question to your group. Anything from the trolley, dear? <laughs> but seriously. Will you do, <laughs> will you do the you Bertie fancy? Bot's challenge? They're a bit open. This has not been kind to me in years previously. Um, I don't oh, know I always the get best good one ones. to distribute. Hands out. <laughs> okay, yes. Well, I'll let you, but if you're in the same house, by all means, pass, pass them back. Good luck with the colours and the flavours, because it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a gamble. <laughs> Do my best, yeah? <laughs> it is dangerous, yeah. I think it'll be a good part of your guide training if you played it. Well, I think it's only fair if my teacher t teaches me. Mm, I'm going to go red for Gryffindor. Green. Uh, are we ready? Yes. Hands yeah, colours. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, no. Oh, God. Lime. That's a good one. Banana? Mine's spicy. Pepper. Not good. I think it's crap. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> How do you get banana? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? I have a blue one. What's the blue one? <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> Any answers? Any answers? What do we have? What do we have? Mm. Cherry. Okay. Uh, what did you have? So, is it the light blue one? Is it the one I have? Light green. Not that one? Yeah, that one. Oh, God, yeah, I've got the same one. <laughs> <laughs> terrible. Grass. Grass? Mm. Oh. 
so good. Okay. <laughs> Who's actually had good ones? I've got a lemon. Oh. Hey, we've got a lemon. Yeah. One out of five. Mm. I right. definitely had a spicy chilli. Spicy chilli? Yeah, it was mm. spicy. It was it's still spicy. <laughs> okay, I got all over the graph pretty lightly. Uh, Reese, what are we had to do next, my friend? Um, you should have another clue. Where's your letter? Oh. Apologies, did I put it down? Oh, Sorry, guys, my first time around. <laughs> this one? Yep. Guys, no. okay, ready for the um, call? <laughs> <laughs> was it not a good one? It was. If you've got something to hide, your next destination is the safest place for it, except for Hogwarts. But, ah, this is, uh, wait, so that's, that's the question. Um, where do we have something to hide? Safest destination other than Hogwarts. Gringos. These guys are good. You guys um, know Hagrid's words. But there are some secrets of the wizarding world that we can't unveil. So <laughs> put your muggle TikTok audience member under the veil of invisibility using Reese's invisibility cloak. Sorry guys, all right, Sorry, hang guys. on. While we go through the magic, see you on the other side. See you soon. We all need to run. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I've still, um, still got a spicy chilli bean oh, mate, that back was, of my neighbor I've never had a good experience with the Bertie Bots beans. I just thought I was getting left What was yours? Grass? A turf? Oh a yeah, I made you a green. One? The grass oh, one. <laughs> Very creative, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> right, it's a long way to Gringotts. This way here, no worries, we'll find it. <laughs> Stay close, Rick, no dawdlers, please. My mouth is still burning. <laughs> I need a, a, a nice, very favourite bean. I thought I'd go red for Gryffindor. Welcome to Gryffindor. Well, we can't always reveal all our secrets. Um, no. to everyone at home, you can with your group all the time. Is it safe? I think it's safe. Reese, is it safe? I think just about. Are you sure? I guess. I think we're here. <laughs> um, we've arrived. Welcome. Welcome to Gringotts. <laughs> Safest place except Hogwarts. <laughs> I mean, this was pretty impressive, right? This is about as good as it gets, really, yeah, when it comes to set design. Welcome, come on in, come on in. Have you been to Gringotts before? Have you, do you bank here often? Or? <laughs> All the time. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. Would it be as good as Draco's? I mean, Draco'd have a lot of gold <laughs> under is, these vaults. This is true, this is true. It's a pretty impressive set. I always think it's nice to point out the chandeliers to your group. Yes, well po yes, well pointed. Look at these wonderful chandeliers, yeah. 30,000 crystals. Yes. Wow. So yeah, that is attention to detail. I mean, they <laughs> built these sets for the films. First film uh, was on location, but um, did you ever get to play here? I don't think I did. I think I came here as a rebel in my lunch hour. Because <laughs> actually they kept a lot of these sets pretty well shut off to not allow um, uh, teenagers like myself to come and um, mess things up and uh, so I actually get to see it. I remember this, um, the Great Hall obviously and the um, Chamber of Secrets were all three sets that you walk into and you just get this sense of wow I can't believe that they did, they actually made this uh, and as you can, what's really cool about it as well is that it's 360. Yeah. Often they build sets on one side and then build another set the other side whereas this is how can you not feel like you're in you're part of the uh, wizarding world when you're when you're here? So yeah, I mean, excuse uh, me if I get a bit misty. Oh, well. <laughs> I mean, they had good reason to keep you guys not running amok as kids. Yes. These sets are not normally made from proper materials. I mean, we started in Great Hall, which was a bit of a difference. We had that real stone floor. That's yep. not that's not normal for films to use actual materials. No, like these columns, they're not marble columns, and they're actually just um, paper wrapped around plaster, um, dipped in oil and ink to make these cool marbling patterns. Um, but not real at all, so we couldn't have had you just messing around in no, the break as no, a child. Right, rightfully so. Again, a tribute to everyone that worked behind the scenes, what they can make look like something that isn't. Uh, I think there's a, a, an assumption that so much of all the, um, the magic was done with CGI and with uh, computer effects and stuff, when actually it was mostly painstakingly done by a group of people that just were really passionate about, um, about creating the wizarding world. So. I mean, this case is a <laughs> testament to that, right? Like, yes. You know, Proper special effects, over vision effects, yes. real sets. Here, yeah, yeah. and a lot of people that never would have a million years thought that their work would be kept in a museum or <laughs> in, in a studio tour uh, 
So it's so nice to know that all of their their work actually does get to get uh, to get seen by so many people every day. Yeah, I mean it's not normal for a prop maker, right? Like no, they wouldn't just it would just get torn down. But it also gives them it's a good reason why they didn't let me steal as much props <laughs> as I. They were, they were very rigorous about keeping making sure. Props. Did you well, say well, no, still? I didn't steal <laughs> It's still a thing. <laughs> um, but actually, it's so nice to know that it's kept here as, a, uh, um, as, as exa exactly as it was and preserved for uh, muggles like yourself to... Uh... <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Do they look I, like muggles? And you're not going to upset someone with that. Um, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yes. Well, where's... On. Yeah, I know, exactly that. Exactly that. It's pretty incredible. Right, it's probably time for your next Hogwarts right. letter. Um, here we go. This one's Mark Gringotts. It's Fantastic. going to give you another, you and your group, another challenge to do in here. Okay. And then we'll get on to the big. How are we feeling, guys? Good. I like that. All right. Uh, I, um, at Gringotts, to access your vault, you need to present its key. To move on to your final destination on the tour, you will need to be as keen-eyed as a seeker. Hidden in this room is a key. Go seek and present it to me, your guide. Go, go. It's a key. It's a key. It could be high, it could be low. I just said people weren't supposed to run them up. <laughs> That's part of your job. That's part of the training. I mean, everyone. I don't actually know where it is. Reese does, so yes. It's okay, don't be afraid to. I mean, some of you are warm. Some of you are very cold. That's not very helpful. <laughs> okay, I like it. Hmm. Um, Potentially somewhere. Are we allowed to go? I've forgotten where it was. <laughs> it's in here somewhere. Okay, it's going to be here somewhere. Who's actually a seeker? Come on. Oh, oh we got a winner. Yes. We have a winner. Yes. Very good, very good. Who got Ravenclaw? Not another Ravenclaw. <laughs> Fair enough, well, Ravenclaw, we'll give us a congratulations. <laughs> Bravo. Uh, are we all in? Okay, ready for your uh, clue for next location. Your quills and your ink, your bits and your bobs. The student can go back to Hogwarts without making a trip to your next destination. Where are we going? Diagonal Alley. Diagon Alley. Course, where it all began. Nice. Shopping lists at the ready, everyone follow me. Bravo. You got the key. <laughs> yes, don't, don't, I mean, it's a good do place that. to start. A good guide stays in front of the group. Come on, sorry, top. sorry, I'm, I'm, just, I'm flagging. Here, yeah, I can keep that. <laughs> we have the vault. Ladies and gentlemen, yes. yes. To your left, there's the Gringotts vault door. Pop quiz. What number door was that? Where the philosopher's stone was? Seven hundred. There we go. Yeah. Another pop quiz. Yeah. 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 Follow me, follow me. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I'm, I'm on better terms with this guy. Stay behind me. We'll be safe. I think we just missed the dragon. No direct eye contact. <laughs> so, you know, in the books, the dragons are only there for the super high security bolts. So, ah. Malfoys, Blacks, people like that. Well said. Welcome. Welcome to Diagon Alley. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Another really cool set you can actually walk down. Feel those cobbles under your feet. Does yeah. it take you back? Probably my absolute favourite of all of the sets is Diagon Alley. Uh, how they even conceived this, I don't know, let alone built it. As you can see, nothing's at a right angle. <laughs> Everything is higgledy-piggledy and beautifully um, well, magical. Um, it's always one of those, one of the few sets that we got to walk on and actually just go into different shops and uh, and cause havoc. It was a lot of fun for sure. So it was one of your questions earlier. You asked cool. the group which uh, which set was redressed um, from Diagon Alley to turn into something else. We found out it was Hogsmeade. Mm. And if you look at this shop here, Ollivander's, you can see those rounded shop front windows. Mm. You'll recognise those as Honeydukes. Next time you watch Prisoner of Azkaban see the Honeyduke shop windows. It was all just a bit of paint. I mean, we said about those filmmakers and their amazing work, but when they can save, you know, Absolutely. corners, redress the set, cover it with snow. Reese, you know your stuff. I do. Oh, are you, I mean, you have to know all this. I'm going to have to learn <laughs> that. 
I got a ways to go. You is were that there. What you're it's true. It's true. But as a kid, you don't really take it all no. in. You certainly don't actually appreciate how much, uh, how many people, and how many hours it took to, to put it, put it all together. Uh, just you don't realize how important it is for the pillars to be leaning to the right. But it makes the whole thing, um, uh, you know, so much, so much more, uh, much more entertaining. So, any a childhood memory happily done here. <laughs> Do you have a favorite shop? Ah. Uh, Ollivander's, uh, not so much. Uh, Flourish and Blots. Flourish and Blots? Yes. It's just down I love, there, I love Green Blots. Window. So that was a, that's a pretty cool place to, um, pretty cool place to. Actually, I spent more time, I think, than another alley. I mean, yeah, you would have liked Nocturne Alley, which is down there. <laughs> yes. Um, I don't really like Nocturne Alley, it's a bit scary, um, but that was a pretty cool scene. But Forest and Blots was a cool scene for you. Yes. I mean, you say you like books, but you spent half the time ripping them up in yes. that scene in Chamber of Secrets. Yes, so. this is true, it was painful for me. Yes. Again, that's a big lesson. If you're going to be a guide, don't rip up the books. Don't the books, okay. We just said we're trying to keep them for 20 years. So I'm learning, <laughs> I'm learning. Uh, I suppose that obviously the Weasley's uh, Emporium must be, must be the finest of the shops here though. I know they had a an absolute laugh doing that. I mean, yeah, graphic designers, me and were inspired by fireworks packaging for all the Weasley products, if you think, yeah. from the 50s, that kind of splashes of colour. Um, but I think you've done really well. Thank you. Can I, um, I'm not can sure... Can you get a sort of vocal sound of how well I did? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Stop it. It's my first time. I mean, I'll see. I haven't quite signed off on your training yet. We'll okay. see how you do with your final um, Hogwarts letter. Yes. Last one of the night. Excellent. Thank you very much. You've been fantastic guests. Uh, so thank you for supporting us. You've made it! You are almost ready to go back to Hogwarts. You need to buy all your supplies from Diagon Alley. From uniform at Madame Malkin's to allowing your wand to choose you at Ollivander's. Since Tom's wand has already chosen him, Ollivander has a special gift for everyone here today. Tom, you can give your tour group Ollivander's gifts now. Come on, come on! Accept the best wand of all. <laughs> Please, please, please pass them back. Please pass them back. Okay, Draco wants from Draco. I think we can all say Tom passed his training today. Yeah. Are we going to let him be a guy? Can I keep? Can I keep help you out? Myself. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you already have one? No. Thank you guys can so much for having me. Who hasn't got really? one? You've been an absolute pleasure to work with. And you. And now I've got I a job for life. You could take mine. Yeah. I mean, you've done better than me. Thank you everyone that will, uh, followed us and came along for the journey. Uh, love you lots. From everyone here at the Wizarding World, lots of love. <laughs> 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 Draco's wand! <laughs>